In this video, we're going to be taking a look at building our tabletop champagne wall. Now, the champagne wall is done entirely of fence pickets, and it's pretty straightforward to put together. So, the first thing that we need to do is cut up our parts, and I'm going to go through some of the parts here for the main wall, and then the base, we're going to take a couple of dim dimensions of what we build here, and then we'll figure out exactly what we're going to do with our base. But for the wall, we need seven pieces of our fence picket. These are five and a half inches wide, five eighths of an inch thick. So we need seven pieces that are 28 and a half inches wide for the main wall here. And then you can see I've, I've ripped a fence picket two and a half inches wide to create some cleats that's gonna hold all of these pieces together for us. So we're gonna use some glue, some one inch, narrow crown staples and to staple it all together then we'll probably come back in with a couple of one inch deck screws and go ahead and screw it all together as well just just one just to kind of support the glue and our staples and then uh, we're going to need another piece that is 28 and a half inches long and that will act as the cap okay and then we're going to need three pieces that are 28 and a half inches, but we're gonna to need to rip them to a four inch width. Now we're gonna to have to drill some holes and slots in here to hold our glasses. So these will be the boards that will hold our glasses, okay? And then um, finally these uh, will make up the sides of our wall. So these will go kind of like that on the side. That will kind of create a box if you will, okay? And these are uh, 41 and a half inches long, okay? So, and there's just two of those, and then and they're the five and a half inch width. These are the only ones we have to rip up to this point. Like I said, when we get ready to make our base, we're gonna have to rip some boards um, and cut them. But again, we're gonna get the exact dimension we need once we get our main box put together. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take some wood glue and some inch and uh, one inch staples, rather. Staple it all together. I'm gonna come back in and put one screw per board, both sides, just to kind of hold it all together nice and firm for us. So let me get that done and then I'll come back to you. Well, there we go, all glued up and screwed up. Show you we're using the uh, tight bond two. And these are the screws that we use. Uh, I get these at Lowe's. Um, I cannot find these screws at Home Depot. So those are what we use. And you can see I just put two staples, one screw per board all the way around. So now what we're going to do is we're going to flip this over in order to put on the sides uh, and, and the top piece as well. And we're going to do that just using glue and uh, staples. But we're going to switch over two inch and a quarter staples uh, being how uh, we're able to use a little bit longer because uh, we're going to be stapling into this from the side so we'll be able to use a little bit longer staples okay so we're going to flip this over get the sides and top on and i'll show you what that looks like when it's done all right so there's our basic box so now what we want to do any interior sanding that you want to do now's the time to do it i wouldn't sweat the outside but i would go ahead and get the whole inside sanded as much as you want to do now um, so you can see here what we did flush it up here on the bottom and we just ran some staples along there i don't know six or so and then we also stapled this now i did use my carpenter square here to make sure this was square um you know up and down but you can see there's just a few staples there. Then you can see a few staples across there. And then you can see uh, staples across there. Now when we put in our boards here, so the first board's going to get lined up to here, the next one lined up to there, the next one lined up to there, and then this space is open. Um, that will stiffen up the sides as well. So I'm going to go sand this a little bit, and then uh, we will take a look at 
making our boards and, and installing our boards before we, we look at our base here. All right, let me show you what we did and what we're going to do. So these are four inches wide, 28 and a half inches long, right? And what I did is I came in from the end, I marked two and a quarter and then four, 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 two and a quarter. Okay, so there's four inches spacing between each one of these two and a quarter in from the ends. Okay, and so I just used my 12 inch square here, marked one board and then you know, transfer those lines over. And then I'm always one to use a cool gadget. And this Craig, I don't know what they call this. I don't remember, but anyhow, you just set the dimension to two and that will get us to the center of our board, right? So nice, quick, uh, easy reference to get that two inches in. I forget what they call that, but it's a real handy tool. I use it quite a bit. And you can use it as a square, like a, like an L-shaped square too. Um, pretty nifty tool and, and it's very inexpensive. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our drill with our paddle bit on here. This, this one happens to be inch and a quarter. You could just use one inch. I think the plans call for one inch. Uh, and just a reminder, I do have these uh, printed plans. If you want a printed set of plans available in my uh, Facebook store, which there's a link to at the bottom uh, in the description. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drill in about halfway to this point. It almost goes to the other side of the wood and then we'll flip it around and drill it the rest of the way so we don't have no blowout. And then on that reference line here, we've got a, with our jigsaw, we gotta make a little three quarter inch wide slot for that stem of that champagne glass to go into, okay? So let's go ahead and knock those out. It won't take but just a few minutes and uh, we'll get them mounted to our box here. Here you can kind of see what I was talking about. I just kind of pre-drilled it, X marks the spot. And if you look here, there's little bitty indentations all the way down. Just little bitty where it just poked through, right? So now we can go ahead and punch it the rest of the way through and we won't have that blowout that you, that you get uh, if you don't have some kind of backer board or do it this way. I always do it this way. It's just easy for me to do it that way. So I'll go ahead and finish these up. I'll just show you what I did here. I just took a little block of wood as a spacer and just marked my boards here. And I'm just going to come just to the inside of these lines. It's not really that critical, um, but I did that to all the boards. Now I'm going to use my Ryobi cordless saw and zip all these slots in here one down two to go pretty easy stuff looks pretty uniform and you can see that these slots are fairly clean um, now if you want to at the end if you have some wood files or something and knock off a couple of burrs i'm gonna, i am gonna take a sander and get rid of all the pencil marks at least but uh it looks pretty good but yeah i would come in with a wood file behind and and, and maybe clean them up a little bit. Um, I don't have a spindle sander. I wish I did for this project, then I hit it with a spindle sander. Um, but at any rate, pretty simple to clean those uh, slots up a little bit if you want to. Um, so we, what we're looking for is roughly, see how my finger fits in there? Um, that's not a good judge because I got fat fingers or I got skinny ones. Um, but at any rate, three quarters of an inch is kind of what we're looking for. Um, inch, three quarter inch. Um, I really wouldn't go anything smaller than three quarter. Just make sure that stem have plenty of room to slide in there. Okay. So let me go ahead and finish up the other two and then we can mount them to our box. Okay. So let me just show you where we're at here. We've got all of our boards cut, sanded, slotted, drilled, etc. And And so what we're going to do is that first one on the bottom, we're going to line up that board right there. And then we're going to line up that board right there and then right there and that will give us plenty of room uh in between boards for our glasses okay and you know if you have a specific glass you're going to use it's probably not a bad idea to measure the glass you might be able to get one more board in here um you definitely could if we weren't leaving this open for lettering you know mr and mrs um help yourself to the bubbly whatever wording you wanted up here um that's definitely an option, okay? Now, I do not have these in place. We will use wood glue. We will staple in 
from the sides here. We'll use our carpenter square to make sure this is nice and square up and down. Pop in three staples on the sides. And then because we're lining it up with our board here, we'll be able to use that on the back side. That's one of the reasons why I did it that way is so that we'd have some sort of guide as to know where that board is. And we make sure we hit um, from the back side directly into this, okay? So we'll glue those, staple them, and then all we have left uh, is the base. Uh, and that's a very straightforward uh, base as well, okay? So let me get these permanently mounted. Then we'll take a look at what we need to do for our base.